everybody, this is Anna Michelson from ilanamichelson.com, optional.com, and as you can see, I got my lighting set up. Maybe I should even make it a little bit brighter over here. See if that helps a little bit. See me a little bit better. Hold on, oops. There we go, hold on. There we go, okay, that's good. And today I wanna to talk to you about the idea that people sometimes come to me and they say, why should I do the work in couple therapy or in any type of therapy? It's their problem, not my problem. And I think I've spoken to the get about this before, but I think it's a really important point. So I'm gonna talk about it again, even if I did, and I hope you enjoy it. Basically, when you're doing all this work, you're not doing it for your spouse, your partner, or for anybody else in any other relationship, be it your parent, your child, or anything else. You're doing it for yourself. And the reason why you're doing it for yourself is because the trigger is inside of you. It's not inside anybody else. Now, Wayne Dyer gives a really great example about this, that when you squeeze an orange, what comes out? Orange juice will always come out because that is what is inside the orange. So if somebody manages to make you angry, it means the anger is inside of you, not inside of them. Now, if you say, they are responsible for my anger, what you're really doing is you're giving your power over to that other person. And why would you wanna do that? I don't wanna give my power to somebody else. I like to keep my own power and be in control of myself. So first of all, by the fact you're saying that I know that what happens is ever I feel is mine to change and only mine to change, that in and of itself is already saying that I'm taking my power back. Now, the other thing is that you take yourself with you wherever you go, which means that let's say you leave this relationship, be it a work relationship, be it a romantic relationship, be it a any other type of relationship, okay? You leave it, you go to another one. And at first it seems really, really good. And then as time passes and infatuation wears off, suddenly all the things start coming back again. And you're saying, oh my God, I married the same exact person. I'm in the same exact relationship. I'm in the same exact job that I was beforehand. I didn't manage to change anything. What am I gonna do now? Well, the obvious thing to do was to change what you're holding inside of you. Get rid of your triggers so that you don't feel them anymore. Because you can't update every other person on the planet about what your triggers are. It's not gonna work. They're not gonna care. But the moment that you change your triggers, they won't bother you anymore, and then no one can press those buttons anymore. No one can create that feeling inside of you anymore. Now, the big fringe benefit about it is as you do that, in general, you kind of heal the things that are going on with your partner, especially if it's a romantic partner, but it could also be a work partner or a family partner of any sort. You heal it because they can no longer push your buttons, you no longer feel those things, you no longer are angry at them for that and you don't spiral into that same bad relationship. So if you're on your own and no one else is willing to do the work with you, do it by yourself. You're still gonna get a lot out of it. You're still going to heal yourself and you're gonna make every other relationship in your life be a much better relationship. If you're in a romantic relationship or a work relationship or with a parent or with a child and the other partner is willing to do the work with you, all the better because then you'll both get rid of whatever triggers you have inside of you you'll both take your power back and you will both create a space where the other person can't push each other's triggers you can't push their triggers and they can't push your triggers now in general i'm all about taking responsibility for myself when i was married i didn't even know this stuff i always said it was his problem he's doing this to me he's doing that to me he's doing that to me he's doing that to me but since I've gotten divorced and since I started doing all this work, I've realized how much of it was actually my fault as well. That's not taken away from his fault. We each had our faults, we each had our problems, we each went into our own transes, we each had our own things inside of us, but as I'm releasing them for me now, I can be assured that the next relationship that I have is not gonna have those things there. And that's the key. That's why this is so great. So if you haven't given me a like, give me a like down below. I love to get the hearts. I saw one heart going up. I thank you whoever that was. If you are watching this on YouTube, the heart and the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can always be notified when I make another video. And wherever you are in this world, I wanna wish you to have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Here it's already 11.30 at night, pretty late. 
hoping you can tell because it's pretty dark even though I have this nice new light over here. I just got it last week and I fixed it up. I got my new external charger so now it's working great. And remember, everything's always going your way. Everything's always going my way. Everything's always going everybody's way. Have a great day from ilanamichelson.com or ahafshale.com.